All right, on an interesting little flagstone patio project here. So this is for a friend and a year ago or so, they had gotten a bunch of natural flagstone from another person they knew, about 300 square feet. And we're wanting to make a walkway here and a small patio in the back. So he had cut out the driveway that existed here, put in some sand and started putting down these stones, but was having trouble uh, leveling them and getting set up how he wanted and just ran out of time. So he uh, called me up and uh, asked me if I could get this all set up for a, uh, a walkway and a patio in this back area. And the plan will be to leave this uh, center portion um, sand as they're going to put in a decorative stone and then whatever flagstone we have left add in around here where they have a, a fire pit. Um, so over here you can see that the uh, the grade is sloped that way and pretty low so we're gonna be scratching this out and building it up so that we can make a level surface for all of these and have a, a wonderful time trying to level all these giant blocks. So first thing I have to do is move all these blocks that are here right now. Um, I'm probably going to take these and put them off over here. I'm kind of hoping I can lift up a lot of these with just the excavator and the thumb and not do any damage to them. So I'm going to test that out on uh, this broken one.
All right, that worked out uh, pretty good. So I might actually be able to just do a lot of the picking and placing for all of these uh, pieces of slate with just the machine itself. So that's pretty cool. So since this deck is pretty high and we're on a hill here, it sort of basically, it makes the most sense to get the patio to align with the bottom of that board such that there's a seven inch step going from the patio to the deck. Unfortunately, as we come down, the grade drops and the sill plate of the house is, you know, basically a couple inches above that grade there. So coming all the way back to this corner, we're in sort of a spot where you can't really backfill that much material up without, you know, rotting out the house. So the plan will be, since everything out here is a solid eight inches basically below that corner, uh, I'll pretty much build up everything with stone all the way back until about where the stone exists here. And then what I'll do is line that with all the extra random rocks we have around here to sort of build a uh, retaining wall for the base of the patio and then probably up in that corner, find something nice to, uh, you know, make a little step down or keep from, you know, going right off into that hole. So we kind of build up this area so it's not up against the house. It still has drainage out as it was before because all this stuff is just permeable stone. And for this walkway over here, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to match the bottom of the board. Uh, so to do that, I'll just need to scrape out a bit of material here to match the pitch. Uh, so we can get some nice crushed stone beneath it uh, and that'll be easier to screed around uh, versus all these random sized rocks.
right, that gets that prepped. Uh, dug over a little bit here since there was uh, part of the stump still left. But uh, since this job is so far for me, I just brought the excavator and dump trailer. And what I'm doing with this is bringing it to another part of the property, which is, you know, 500 feet away from this location. So I'm gonna drive that down there and dump it. And actually right next to where I'm dumping it is the pile of stone. So I'll load this up with stone and bring it back up. So I just went up and dropped the first load. Um, he has a Kubota B2650 tractor. So he's just gonna take the pile and push it into the area it needs to be. And I'll just keep loading uh, material down here so that we can uh, sort of expedite the process. Alright, so while I was down loading up, he got a lot of the stone placed in here, so I'm going to go through, rake it out, compact it, see where we're at for levels, and then get ready for screeding.
Thank you. 
All right, so I prepped this area over here for the walkway, and the plan is, since we ended up getting some more flagstone yesterday, and these are a lot bigger, we're gonna just use these ones as kind of stepper blocks for that walkway. I think all of these are like three to four inches thick, and they're pretty big. So the lower one over here, kind of towards the bottom, this guy I was gonna probably use as the first stone, because it's like a freaking five foot stone. So I'm gonna go over here and organize these and then pick and place them.
All right, so we got the walkway in, a little area in front of the fire pit, and the patio off the right side of the deck here. So I think it all came out really nice for uh, all the different size stone we had. Again, all of the stuff in here was um, items that he got from somebody he knew. And then, luckily, um, during the day yesterday, he went out to a local place and they had a bunch of uh, these larger stones that we were able to make this walkway and this little fire pit area out of, so that came up pretty good. Over on this side of the patio, I put one of the step blocks that I took out from the other side over here so they can still walk off there, and then retained the patio base with some rock. And then for this side, the plan will be to get some more loam and seed right off the patio so that it continues right into the lawn. But for now, my work here is done. His plan is to, since he has the Kubota B2650 and he does a bunch of work around the farm, his plan is to basically put the decorative stone uh, within any area that we didn't cover with the flagstone patio, bring it all up to the same level, and maybe put some planters on the right side here um, to finish off the area. So, on to the next job.